This is the Fearworld F5 Prox 5.5 inch high brightness monitor. And we are here to make an in-depth review. I'm your host Mauro and let's get straight into this review. Just a small disclosure, yes this monitor was sent by Freewell to check it out and make a review and actually share my experience about it. As you know, over the last couple of years I tested a lot of on-camera monitors and some are actually different to the others and some were actually kind of similar. This is actually a new refreshment with a great new little add-on. And this minor little thing is actually one of the major things that no other monitor that I tested so far had this option. And this is the actual option to power this monitor via USB-C power. Yes, just using a power bank you can power on this monitor without using any other power source like now this MPF battery or actually a power connection. Isn't that great? This is actually the perfect size monitor for a smaller production, mirrorless camera and gimbal work. In the box you will get all the accessories to start shooting. L bracket, sunshade, USB-C to USB-I converter, instruction manual. Let's get straight to the actual specs of this monitor. This is a full HD panel with HDMI in and out pass-through, up to 4K 30 frames per second and 4K DCI up to 24 frames per second. The input method. 12V with adapter connection, DC out 8.4V, MPF style battery slot and another MPF dummy slot for accessories like the wireless image transmission system, headphones monitoring output and the previously mentioned DC 5V Type-C connection, one cottage screw mount on the bottom, on the top, on the side and another back mounted. Let's get straight to the menu layout system. Being a touch monitor, pressing two time on the monitor, we are entering the menu system option, where you can select all the functions, assist functions with all the waves on and off, waveform with the modes, vector scopes, histograms, focus assist, embedded audio, overexposure lines, field check and false colors. You can add the marker grids, save frames, center marker and ratio maker choosing the color of them. Image mode, underscan and overscan mode, aspect ratio, anamorphic disqueeze mode, image flip, zoom mode from 2 times up to 16 times or user made, image freeze and peer to peer. Under the user option you can load the loot file from some of the selected ones or load your own loot via USB-C. HDR mode, display adjustment, color adjustment are the selected most used settings on the shortcut on the top of the monitor. And also you can select what does the swipe option from left to right. Entering the system settings you can change the language, on screen display, volume, reset and firmware update. And pretty great amount of feature in this small production monitor. One thing that you for sure appreciate and then differentiate this from all the other monitors that I tested so far is the actual use of the USB-C power option straight from a power bank or actually a wall cord USB-C powered connection. Yes, I am just using this actual power bank and with the actual power consumption of just 9 watts of the monitor, well you can pretty much run all day out of a slightly bigger Xiaomi power bank. Isn't that great? Well also this could be also a backup solution if your MPF batteries die out on the shoot or actually if you don't have any power wall connection to the actual adapter. This is a great option. After having used this monitor for a while, yes I can recommend it and actually this is a perfect solution if you want to get on the budget side and also get all the bells and whistles with the actual USB-C connection. The first link in the description will guide you straight to the buying site for this monitor. If you have any questions feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer to all them. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.